Hey guys, what's going on? Steve Cronin. Uh, brain waves. What are they? I recently did a video on neurotransmitters and I was like, hey, gotta do a video on brain waves too. They go together so well. That video's coming up. All right, guys, so I do a channel on biohacking, uh, which involves altering your physiology. Primarily, what goes on in your brain. So, uh, how does the brain work? Well, we don't really know. Let's just put that out there at first. But uh, generally, uh, our thoughts and our subjective experiences are made up of, or correlated to, more likely the latter, uh, you know, electrochemical reactions in the brain. So, breaking that word down, that's just two things electrical activity, we can measure that. That's what this video is about the brain waves and uh, the chemicals. And I recently did a video on what are neurotransmitters, which covers the chemical end. So, the electrical activity. So, yeah, I mean, different brain states are correlated with, so when I'm, what I mean by that is by di different subjective states, different states of consciousness, and I recently did a video on states of consciousness and what that means, but, but different states of consciousness are correlated with uh, different electrical activity, different patterns of electrical, electrical activity in the brain. And we've been able to identify these patterns and give them names, and we call them brain waves. So you have your alpha, beta, gamma, delta uh, brain waves, right? So um, what are they? It's electrical activity. And we measure them by using what is called an EEG. Ooh, actually, I have one. So. so here's an example of a one sensor EEG. This is a very low end consumer grade product. Uh, you know, 10 years ago when I was 17, I would have loved to have one of these guys because I was trying to alter my brain waves using something called binaural beats, which I yet, have yet to do a video on. And I was like, how do I know this is working other than the subjective effect? And the answer is to measure your brain waves. Now, this is just a one sensor unit. Um, you get some con conductivity gel, put it on this sensor. Uh, you go ahead and place this on your head. You can rotate it to any region or area of the brain you want to measure. Uh, again, it's one sensor, uh, you know, to get a proper one, you can have like, you know, 32 sensors on here. And then you see those nets, those, those hair nets with like different electrodes on there that'll pick up this electrical activity that you then translate through a computer. There's an app for this. This is called the NeuroSky MindWave Mobile, which I will do a video review on in the future when we get into the quantified self realm of this stuff. And uh, so you translate that data and then you get these waves and you get the peaks and the valleys. And so alpha waves are uh, correlated with a subjective experience in the same way, not in the same way, but in a similar way that we might say, uh, you know, serotonin is correlated with uh, subjective experience. Serotonin, of course, being a neurotransmitter, one of the ones I've talked about. Alpha waves are thought to be correlated with experiences of kind of like relaxed focus. It's very relaxed, attentive, right? Beta waves are like a nor normal waking state correlation. Uh, delta waves we see a lot when uh, people are sleeping. Theta waves we are associated with like perhaps creative moments or a combination of, of uh, alpha and theta might in be indicative that of one like lucid dreaming, for example. So, so there are correlations, not causal mechanisms at all, but correlations of different patterns of electrical activity we can pick up with a machine like this, uh, correlations between that and subjective experiences. But how vague is focus, right? Just like with the neurotransmitter stuff, you take aniracetam, which affects acetylcholine, supposed to give you more focus. Well, that's a very vague word to describe a subjective experience. And so is uh, when you sub describe a subjective experience uh, when talking about an alpha wave, for example. So a lot of this stuff is really primitive. A lot of this stuff we don't know really that much about. You know, uh, uh, electricity and, and chemicals, uh, you know, we can directly measure electricity. Indirectly, we think, measure the chemicals in the brain to try to correlate physiological changes with, with subjective feeling and subjective experience. But at the end of the day, uh, we don't really know how to integrate the two that well. So I want to do this video on what are brain waves uh, because a lot of this stuff with biohacking uh, you know, taking nootropics or smart drugs, for example, affects both brain waves and neurotransmitters to change your body, uh, you know, physiologically to, to then go ahead and provide a new subjective experience. Uh, so just wanted to break that down really quick because I gloss over a lot of the brain waves in videos and I'm like, oh, well, this will up your alpha, you know, this will induce delta. And what does that mean? And, 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 we don't really know, <laughs> but 
it's some data that is indicative of something. And that's the best answer I can really give you, the best answer that anyone can really give you about what are brain waves and how they work. So please subscribe to this channel if you want to get more informational videos like this, more videos about biohacking, more smart drug reviews, quantified self stuff. That's it for now, guys. Take care. Hey, guys.